Yo, this is Waka Flaka with 12.10 patch notes. This is attempt number 10 billion, so let's try and do this now. Quickly, you all know, durability update, half armor, magic resist, increased, scaling with HP, meaning you get more HP later as well. Shields, heals decreased. Shields has been nerfed more than healing, and I'll get into that later. The reason mostly is because Grievous Wounds has been changed from 60% to 50, whereas Serpent Thang hasn't really been changed, okay? So what we're going to look at here first is the statement from Riot that aim to reduce healing by 10% early and then 28% later in the game, right? And we're going to go quickly down here. I just want to go over this first because I'll make a point to here later, right? So as an example, last patch, if Soraka used the heal without any items or AP, at max level, she would do 110 healing. But in this one, not against Grievous Wounds, she will do 90, okay? So, last patch, 60% Grievous Wounds. So, you're bound to play against someone with Grievous Wounds. Thor Mail, uh, support item, you know. So, uh, last patch, 110 would have become a 44 heal, okay? 44. This patch, because Grievous Wounds is now 50% and not 60, this 90 here becomes 45. So if Sona played against... Um, so if our current Sona with 90 and doing the heal against Grievous Wounds in this patch could have transferred the heal to the last patch, they would have healed more than the last Sona without the nerves would have done because Grievous Wounds has been changed. So in the early game when people don't have grievous wounds and haven't built it, haven't built it, most of these heals are gonna be weaker, as opposed to the last patch. But when people start getting grievous wounds in comparison to the last patch against grievous wounds, your heals in most cases are going to be greater than what they were last patch, right? So healing against grievous wounds is actually better in most cases here, as opposed to the last patch except for Soraka, and probably some other cases as well. Mainly Omnivamp, because you might deal less damage, you're going to heal less, right? So Soraka su suffered the most in this sense. And then Shields, of course. Serpent hasn't been changed, so Shield is just a flat nerf in most cases here. And there's not going to be any um, universe where they're better, because there's not going to be any changes there, and it's just going to be less. So Shields has been nerfed for sure. Whereas heals, in some cases, will actually end up healing more this patch, even though the stats and percentages and AP required are lower than they were last patch, because Grievous Wounds has been changed, right? And because healing hasn't been changed, meaning life still, and these things here, they've been adjusted, of course, but by small values. That means that sustain is still going to be very good. And because something called EHP, which is what I talked about in the video, meaning the value of certain things or the equilibrium curve, as I like to call it, meaning where each stat becomes as much worth as the other stats, right? So HP, as an example, might be worth two times as much in value. Like it'll give you two times as much value as comparing com as in comparison to armor, okay? So I'm really tired, but I just want to get this done here. So uh, you're just going to have to bear with me stumbling a bit. So uh, at one point, HP is going to be worth twice as much as armor, meaning if you buy HP at that point, it's going to make you more tanky as opposed to armor, right? But because all these three stats are getting buffed, armor, health, and MR is getting buffed. That means that life still is going to be worth more, okay? And this is basically the TLDR of the changes here. People are slightly tankier in general. So now we'll get to what does this mean for 98 tech. So as an example, Blade the Rune King, it gives sustain. It's been changed from 8% healing to 7%. But because of these changes here, Blade will heal more or it will have more value than it did last patch. So Blade has been indirectly buffed because of this. And same with Witsend, because that MR scaling is less than armor, 
that means that the magic damage you would deal with, with send is going to be greater and worth more in terms of damage than what I would have done for physical, which is also an indirect buff towards with send in this case here. However, from my experience so far, the durability changes are much more noticeable early game, but then it kind of tends to uh, scale down a bit late game, you know? So uh, 98 tech is still going to be very nice, and you're going to be able to one shot people and champions, especially if they're stacked. But you might notice that you're going to have to deal a few more auto attacks at times. But that's fine, which is why my verdict is that 98 tech is still good. And it's actually better by slight because of this. But of course, because this early game is slower, that means that the amount of things you can do, meaning killing people, etc., to actually reach the power spikes that makes 98 tech thrive slower. So that's an indirect nerf. However, if you do manage to get 98 tech build and get your main components, it's going to be better, right? So 98 tech is still good. And as I said, it's probably better than it was. And that's basically it. And then the last change here for 98 Tech is that Spirit Visage has finally been fixed. Meaning, Riftmaker will now be applied as well with Spirit Visage. So if you have Spirit Visage, your Riftmaker healing will now be increased by 25%. So that means that Spirit Visage gains more value now as an item for you if you're building 98 Tech. And you're leaning towards some item that gives MR and health. And you feel like you don't need more damage. Then Spear Visage is definitely going to be a way better item now than it was before. Right? And some just other changes I want to mention here is that Lethal Tempo is better now. As opposed to what it was before in general on most champions. Because Conquer has been nerfed. And the attack speed and the range will have more value now in the meta that is coming for us all. Right. And that is basically it. That's just a quick update here. TLDR. Healing's been changed early game. But in the later stages of the game when you're playing against Rift uh previous wounds, you can actually end up healing more in some cases as opposed to what you've done would have done last patch. Which is a bit funny, considering you're actually slightly tankier, which means that the sustain is better, right? But yeah, I'm looking forward to playing more games. You guys can catch me on my stream tomorrow or the day after or whenever you guys want. I'll be there. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. Take care. Peace. Bye. Enjoy. Whatever. You know. And hope you guys have continue to have a good morning, evening, night, whichever one fits. Shit like that. This has been Waka Flaka Topo with 10 patch notes. Take care. Peace.